فاصلوں کو تکلف ہے ہم سے اگر ہم ہی بے بس نہیں بے سہارا خود اونچی کو پکائیں گے ہم دور سے کہ نیشنل ایگزیکٹیوز آف فی جی مسلم لیگ یو ایکسلنسیز ممبرز آف دا ڈپلومیٹی کوپ دی آنرابل ڈپٹی پرائم منسٹر دی آنرابل منسٹر فور ہوم افیئرز ممبرز آف فی جیز بزنس کمیونٹی heads and representatives of religious organizations present here today, representatives of the media, official and members of the Fiji Muslim League and its branches, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all and mio sambulare. It is indeed an honor for me to be here with you on this special occasion to observe and celebrate the anniversary of the birth of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I extend to you my personal best wishes, as well as those of the government and the people of Fiji, as we convene to commemorate the National Nilad Unabin celebrations for 2023. This morning, I beg your indulgence as I shall not dwell on the history of Islam as I am quite certain you are already very well versed of that aspect. However, I would like to acknowledge and pay my respects to the great and vast efforts of the Fiji Muslim League, being a religious and educational and charitable national organization of the Muslims of Fiji. It has contributed immensely to the field of education and social welfare, and its members have actively participated and contributed towards Fiji's development from a spiritual and, most importantly, from a social economic perspective. Having established in 1926 to represent and cater for the needs and welfare of the Muslims of Fiji, the Fiji Muslim League has grown and boasts 26 branches, five colleges, 17 primary schools, two hostels, and numerous mosques and religious centers all over the country as places of worship. I acknowledge the hard work of the Fuji, Fiji Muslim League leadership, as well as your members, especially in coordinating your activities around the country for today in developing a strong foundation for the promotion of Islam. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a religious leader, a social reformer, a moral guide, a brilliant administrator, a faithful friend, a wonderful companion, a devoted husband, and a loving father, all in one. These are values that attributes that encompasses our religious beliefs that should be reflected in our everyday living. It should be reflected in our spiritual and personal development, in our relations with each other, with our families, and to the members of the community that, live, that one lives in, and especially in supporting the less fortunate. In upholding this relationship, I have every confidence that the Fiji Muslim League of Fiji and its members can take pride in having contributed meaningfully and significantly towards nation building. Having said that, I strongly believe that religion remains strong foundation that can empower and uplift the lives of our citizens to protect and enhance the interests and aspirations of all of us, men, women, the youth, children, the vulnerable, and the disadvantaged of our society. Religion has always played an important, very important role in nation building and national development, especially in our multicultural, multi-ethnic society. Religious tolerance 
has paved the way for unity in respect for each other. Understanding each other, unity in love, dignity, humility, and humanity, as we all share the love and mercy of our Creator. We respect, appreciate, and celebrate the diversity and aspirations of our people based on our common vision and principles and our shared values. We are blessed as we can acknowledge and recognize the freedom of our various communities to follow and practice their beliefs. We will continue to strive to live righteously and peacefully with one another, equally understanding that goodwill alone is not sufficient to sustain peace, just governance and freedom. Like the world we live in, our problems today are deep-rooted and complex. And, steer our nation, and to steer our nation forward to a better Fiji for all, promoting our mutual interests, we must come together, join hands, and work together closely and sincerely to address our problems for our common good. We can and should always try to solve our own problems, and we should rely on higher power. We should ask God the Creator with reverence and the source of our very being to assist us to find the answer and solutions to our problems. This should be a daily, not only when we face problems, for He has promised us and has better plans to guide us, prosper us and protect us and to give us a future and hope. Ladies and gentlemen, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a man with a noble and exalted mission. And his unique mission was to unite humanity in the worship of the one and the only God, to teach him the way to honor and upright, living in accordance with the laws and the commands of the Almighty. He was a leader who showed compassion for the poor, weak and underprivileged, and when in a when in authority ruled on the principle of equality and fair play. The virtues developed out by the Holy Prophet Muhammad are those that we should always emulate. I encourage you today to continue to partner with other religious organizations and with government to strengthen social cohesion in our local communities and promote interracial and interreligious harmony across Fiji. We need to emphasize moral education and commitment to the family, to our communities and to the nation, to promote, to better promote mutual respect, tolerance, goodwill, compassion, care, peace and equal prosperity. We owe this to our children, to our grandchildren, and to Fiji's future generation. I thank you for your invitation to observe the Mila Agunumbai Nabi today, and my best wishes remain with you all. May God continue to bless Fiji and each of us. Salam alaykum ya Habib